Do I have shin splints or just sore muscles? If you have sore muscles every day, take a few rest days. If the problem persists, it may be shin splints. I generally take rest days in my workout routine. If you are straining yourself, you might need two or more days for the muscles to heal. What causes shin splints? Shin splits are caused when you overuse muscles and tendons where the tibia and fibula are located. They occur when you run too much or carry too much weight. I heard it was caused by running on concrete or wearing the wrong shoes. That increases the stress on the shins, so yes, that can cause it. Now how do I cure it? Rest is the first step. What about ice or hot pads? An ice pack will reduce pain in the short term whether it is shin splints or a sore muscle. After an hour or two, warm water jets help sore muscles. What works in the long term? Wearing shock absorbing shoes and ramp up your training slowly when you do start running. Stretch before you run to prevent sore muscles, and cool down after you run. What if it still hurts after a few days? Then you have stress fractures in the bone or damage to the tendons. But that's when you need to see a doctor and no running in a cast. If I had to tell you that, I'd tie you down in a wheelchair. Can I distinguish between the injuries based on the pain? Shin splints mostly feel like someone kicked you in the shins, with a throbbing pain. Pulled muscles will only affect those muscles. Will sore muscles cramp? If you pull on them or keep using them, maybe. This all cramps my workout routine. No matter which type of injury, the pain is your body saying stop working so hard or doing it that way because it clearly isn't working. 